our platform is always updating to be more efficient. It's not going to be the same thing it's been for the past 10 years. We listen to our customers, we work with our customers, and we're here to support our customers. I'm Mark Michael, CEO, co-founder of DevHub. This is a real treat to pull Kim onto camera. I'm Kim Camber. I'm the CFO at DevHub. I've been with DevHub for about two years now, and we're kind of at an exciting time. We're growing, we're evolving. Right now, my primary focus is just on financial planning and strategy. How do we get bigger? But today, you know, I want to talk a little bit about specifically the website and understanding its role in the marketing stack because it's relevant not only for our customers, but for us as well in this growth phase. It was just interesting to me, since this is a little bit of a higher ticket item for some, you know, like how they're thinking about the budgeting side, we don't know because we don't know their budgets, but how they wanted to categorize like an implementation fee versus the ongoing platform fee internally. Talk us through that. The most important thing to think about is that a website is a living, breathing thing, right? It's not a one and done. It's more than just a page. It's the hub of where all of your digital marketing comes together, right? It integrates with your social media, your email, your SEO. They all drive traffic to your website. So when you do a website revamp or you move to a new platform that's going to have certain efficiencies, you got to think about it as a capitalizable cost that you can say, okay, I'm investing in this now. There is going to be some ongoing cost to it, and that's kind of our monthly or our annual subscription fee. But as far as building the website, you're building, you know, a foundation for your business, and that is capitalizable, and you can depreciate over time. What are the things that, like, if I was coming to you, or marketing actually is coming to you even now, like, what are some of the that you would want to know? Is there anything, like, on, like, the monetary side of this whole thing? Well, I think specifically with DevHub, it's, you know, I, I had my own consulting business. I had a website on WordPress. It was clunky. I'm not a tech person. It was difficult to use. Um, and for these bigger businesses that are using this as a huge part of their marketing strategy, DevHub is not just your, here for your website. We're here for you going forward. So any kind of updates, our platform is always updating to be more efficient. It's not going to be the same thing it's been for the past 10 years. We listen to our customers, we work with our customers, and we're here to support our customers. So that ongoing fee might seem a little bit higher than a WordPress, but really we're giving you the white glove service that you need for your business. Like one of the theses is I always tell people, it's like we never wanted to build a company that was scared of Google. A, AKA whatever the consumer is changing to or toward the phone, the whatever, like your site will always be with the latest standards versus it being like, oh, our website's out of date. It's like your design might be out of date. We can also do that too. But nonetheless, like the actual functionalities of what it needs to be for the internet of today and tomorrow, that's why you're choosing DevHub. Okay, so that's a little bit about costing finance related to websites. Thank you, Kim Canber. And if you have any questions, you can reach Kim here on finance at devhub.com. Uh, that'll somehow get to Kim. All right, cool. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. And I just want to say one more thing. We're here at DevHub. I know I said I'm not customer facing, but we are more partners to our clients than we treat them as customers. So if you are thinking about doing a website, you don't think you have the budget for it yet, come talk to us. We're always willing to work with emerging brands. And yeah, good luck.